So right here we can uh, make some changes. For instance, we need to list all the users that are admins. And uh, the way to do that is simple. We're going to come um, to the roles page. So go to role, go to role show um, fields, roles show fields. So this shows the details of the role. So here we can now import, we can do includes users dot table the reason why we're importing users dot table is uh, users dot table is the file look at it here under users table that's the file that contains the list of users if i open it you see it's a table that contains the list of users all right so um, instead of recreating a list of users we're just importing that table straight up so under roles show fields at the bottom we're important list of users um i think the on um, this is singular where is it show fields this is include not includes all right now what we're going to do next is actually if you look at this users field users um table you see that it makes use of this users variable you understand uh, this users array contains an, a list of um users but from roles, for instance, from the roles um, show fields, uh, we never imported that um, users variable. So if we open this now, it will throw an error. Look at uh, if we refresh, and the error will complain that users variable is missing. You see, there is an error that says undefined variable users. So we need to go to the roles controller to define the variable and import the list of users. So if we go to roles app controller roles role and then we go to show this is some um, create no store show so the show takes the ID of the role and tries to pr pr pull out the details of the role look at it here um, the ID of the role it tries to bring out the details of the role so we can still use that ID of the role and pull out other items such as um we can say user from here what this does is if the row doesn't exist it should throw an error so here we can now say row user i think row has many users row users a console okay we can do something like this users equal to role user then we can pass this users variable here with we can use this with keyword so i brought it down i'm going to duplicate it brought it down ctrl c ctrl v on my keyboard duplicates the line so we're going to say users i'm going to say users so we're trying to pull out the list of users that belong to this role and uh, we're trying to pass it to the view that's role show now the reason why this is possible or this should be possible is that if we go to the role model remember role model sounds kind of cool so uh, role model keep an eye on these users if we go to the role model we'll see that down here at the model we specified we told the model how it relates to the user you understand that it has many users so it's going to try and pull out the users that has that so if we come here and refresh now everything works fine so so far there is no user that has um that is an admin okay well there's an issue though i don't think we have an admin if we go to a database there is no user that is an admin that's admin has id of one i'm trying to log into the database so we have only one um user and that user is an uh, a moderator so that's why there is no admin as you can see the user is the role id too so um there's this tiny little semicolon here so i'm going to find out where i mistakenly inserted it if we go to roles controller um, that's not it um that's not it if we go to show plate i think this is it uh this doesn't need a semicolon so if we come here and refresh it works well all right cool now if we go and check out other roles let's say number two rule two 
that is um the moderator we should see at least one user you see this is a moderator and we're seeing one user that with the name of a moderator now the other thing we can do is um, we can take this moderator name and put here at the top so it will be row column moderator just a design i'm going to go to show and um, i think i'll um, go back to show fields copy the name role name delete this go to show blade i'm on rules in case you don't know go to show blade and then i'm gonna put colon paste for refresh it's gonna show here and that's beautiful so if you're looking at it you see role uh, the role uh, is model is moderator that's beautiful now you can see the list of users here another thing you can do quickly is to actually say what um it's there just to make it user friendly uh where are we looking at we're looking at show show fields under roles we're looking at show fields so here we should just see what is there we can say um h h3 h3 and class text center and we can now say uh, users that belong to this role cool so we can do h3 so isn't this beautiful when we refresh and uh, what we see users that belong to this role beautiful cool so um we can do that with a number of other things such as qr codes if we click on a qr code and um, we can do that in such a way that um, it lists if you are the owner of this qr code it lists users that has purchased from this qr code all right but we'll do that in the next video